What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back. It's Owlby, like always, here with another quick uh, fire patch notes for you guys for the Smite patch 4.11. Uh, so first of all, let's jump right into it. We have a new god, which is Kukukulin. I totally butchered that, but it's okay. Um, anyways, um, he's a really cool god. He's Celtic. He's going to be a warrior. Um, he has two forms, as you can tell. Um, he has his humanoid form, which is right here in the fore foreground. He has um, his beast form. It's like an Incredible Hulk, basically, um, which is his second form there. Um, basically, what is not like hell or anything or like tier where you switch stances is dependent on your MP gauge. Uh, your MP bar turns into a gauge where if it's over 85, um, you basically just um, you, you turn into the Hulk, basically. Anyways, you could go over his um, his abilities. He has two sets of abilities. His one is going to be a um, line ability, which is pretty cool. Um, his two is going to be an aura ability, I believe. Um, so it gives him um, basically increased movement speed. And it's going to give him a mystical mystical male effect, where it does damage with uh, to people around you. Um, his three is going to be a leap. And a oh, it's like a leap and a small line. So basically, you could hop on a group and does a circle aoe damage but it also has this little line where you can hit someone in front of you as well and then obviously um his alt has two um abilities uh one is um a knock up a aoe knock up and then in his beast form i believe he instills fear and hits everyone not really sure he's a really cool god if if you want to see more of him make sure to subscribe here because i will be playing him as soon as he's out um anyways his tier two skin pretty damn dope um, next, we go into the new uh, god skins, Jackal Knight Anubis. This skin is really dope. Um, I really like how Anubis has a jackal head helm. It's really, really cool. Uh, makes him seem a little bit more humanoid. And again, I like the fact that they're going dark and red, like black and red, black and purple. It is a silver and red skin, which we don't have a lot of. This skin gets an 8 out of 10 in my books. Um, next, we have Dread Knight Odin. Still with the one eye, which is really cool. Again, it's a little bit darker, so I, I would have liked it to be a little bit more silver, but it's all right. Um, this skin gets about a 7 out of 10 in my books. It's all right. It's pretty decent. Um, Jackal Tear. Now, this skin is actually really cool because Tear actually gets a pair of wings when he uses his ult. I'm not sure if he gets them in, in any other of his abilities, but it's pretty damn cool. I like the little touch for his like little dragon hand. Really, really cool skin. I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. Um, and those prayers have finally been answered. Osiris is getting not one, but two skins. So, I had to burp there a little bit. Uh, he has Noble Knight Osiris uh, and Black Knight Osiris. Both of these will be available um, if you do the event, uh, which is pretty damn cool. Um, my favorite is Noble Knight Osir I mean, Osiris, just because I love the silver and white combination. You don't get to see like, these clear colors that much. So, I really, really dig this. Um, Black Knight is pretty cool, but it looks a little bit more generic. It's a tr tradition, traditional black and red um, like color scheme that they use on most of their skins. Um, next, we have a really cool skin, Lady Liberty Knox. This skin is a 8 or 9 out of 10 in my book. Super cool. She's basically the Statue of Liberty. Her candle, um, her candle chandelier thing or whatever it's called, um, turns into obviously the, the, the torch. And uh, the effects on her abilities are really, really cool. This one gets a 9 out of 10 in my books. Next, we have uh, Jabalba Shadow Kamazots. This is a tier 2 for Kamazots. It's a really cool tier 2. They're really stepping up their game with their tier 2 skins. Uh, he has a skull mask. He has He's kind of like this lightish blue. And he has these glowing tattoos, which is really, really cool. The card art makes it seem a little bit cooler than the actual skin is. But the skin is still really, really good for a tier 2. This gets my seal of approval, 7.5 out of 10, to be honest. Um, next, we have Dodgy is getting her mastery skins, which obviously are going to look really good. Nox is getting her mastery skins redone, which is pretty cool. And Osiris is also getting his mastery skins redone. Good on you, Hi-Rez. Good on you. Uh, new emotes. The new god is getting a clap and a wave. Not not too um, out of the standard. Osiris is getting a dance, and Nox is getting a dance, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Cold of Shivery event is a new event that's going to release with 4.11 patch. Um, basically, it comes, so you have to buy in, so you have to buy the bundle to do the event. Um, buying the bundle gives you access to the event. Dracul Knight tier, a giant 
fire giant ward, which is like this mini fire giant as a ward, which is really adorable, and the chivalry loading frame. Once you do the event, once you do the, the actual um, quest in the event, you'll get the Jackal Knight Anubis skin, the Dread Knight Odin skin, Noble Knight Osiris, Black Knight Osiris, Chivalry loading screen, and Chivalry music theme, which is a really good value. Like, that, that's a lot of... That's a lot of skins and a lot of um, content that you're getting for the bundle. Not sure what the bundle's priced at, but still a really good deal. Miscellaneous, who cares? Bug fixes, who cares? Next, we go to the item changes. Gauntlet of Thieves is getting a nerf. Uh, they're decreasing your health from 350 to 300, and also decreasing your magical and physical protection aura from 20 to 15. Not a super big uh, nerf, but it's still a nerf nonetheless. Sovereignty, uh, you're increasing your mag or physical protections from 30 to 40, so that's a buff. However, you're decreasing the aura, the, the physical protection auras from 30 to 15. That's half. That's a big nerf. I'm not sure what that's going to do for Sovereignty. It might fall out of the meta, but we'll have to wait and see, to be honest. Shifter Shield. No change to the actual item, but they're making it more expensive. Um, it does grant a lot of power, and as soon as you're low on health, it gives you it gives you a fair amount of physical protection, so it's a really good item right now. They're increasing the cost uh, to make sure that it, re or it reflects the amount of power and the amount of um, the benefits it gives you, basically. So, it's a small nerf. You know, um, just you're going to have to clear one or two more ways for it. Anyways, now to the god changes. Dodgy, um, they're changing her palo, so basically the animation of the palo getting on the palo and getting back off the palo is going to be more fluid. It's, it's a quality of life thing. It won't seem as janky as it kind of has been feeling. Uh, so that's a good, good on high res. Fafnir is getting a nerf. Curse Strength, which is his hammer throw thing, um, is changing the slow to 20 at all ranks instead of being 20 to 40. So that's a nerf. You're not going to have that, that slow, um, that really heavy slow late game, but Fafnir is still really good. I don't think it'll affect him too, too much. Ganesh, he's getting a buff. Uh, so he's changing the slow off his pillars, which is his ultimate, from 20 to 40% to 35% at all ranks, meaning you're going to get that really good slow early game. Obviously, you're not going to get the 40 that you normally would get, you know, late game, but 35 at all ranks is going to benefit you more early game, mid game, and then when you get to late game, you're going you're gonna to lose that. Um, that 5%, but it's not going to make a, that big of a difference, especially since Ganesh is going to have his whole kit, whether it's his uh, charge and stun, or his uh, silence, which are going to help a lot. Next, and lastly, we have Nemesis. Uh, Scales of Faith, which is our passive, reduce the power gain and power loss from 6% to 5%. Very, very small nerf. I don't think it's going to do much, but it'll balance her off a little bit. Who the hell knows? Anyways, that is it for the Smite Patch 4.111. 1-1. One, one. I added extra one there. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe here for more Smite content. Subscribe if you want to see more, or if you want to see any uh, Smite gameplay. And like always, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next one. Later. What is up, boys and girls? It's Alvi here. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see a recommended video, click right over here. If you want to subscribe and see more awesome content in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button up there. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching. Stay awesome, my friends. See you guys later.